so to remind a student that being scared is perfectly normal. It's a very sane response because it's your body that makes you scared. Your body recognizes the situation. It compares it to a belief structure, which we can augment with further training because you change your belief about yourself in terms of your, your ability by training more, right? By knowing more, by looking at the details of your gear and understanding every aspect of it. Um, and so to, I don't know, the, to, to sum that aspect of it up, uh, to, to not fight against the fear, I think is a big one. To remind students, it's fine. As you are, this nervous is normal. All the other students, they're just as nervous as you. The question is, are, are you going to be the one that, that lets go of the fear aspect of it and focuses on doing your job? What's your job, you know? Sitting in the plane, what's your job? Jump run, what's your job, you know? And you, so you stay in your lane at, at this chapter of the event and not try to take it all in at once because that's when we slip into the expectation fear. That we're not in the here and now. And the body just you know, keeps doing what it does. You know, the ego structures, like that's the way I think of it, is the, the body self is protect, trying to protect itself. And it's not helping because it doesn't see the bigger picture of, of how powerful you are to implement your survival plans, you know, whatever that is. Um, you'll do what you need to do. Um, and, and the fear isn't going to make a difference one way or another. Uh, other than the, the go or no go, you know, once you're out of the plane, it's kinetic. But, uh, but if there's a, you know, a, a no go in your, in your body where you're like, ah, I just don't feel it. You know, I just, I'm nervous. The winds, you know, and then you say, okay, what, what belief is making me feel nervous about this? Well, it's windy. And I saw that guy ha have a collapse last week and he broke his leg. Right. And so there is a belief structure that this is the same as that. And that's the part we have to be real, really critical about. Is this a sane response um, to an actual situation or is, is this I'm into expectation fear where, where we get. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's almost a prejudice. In other words, when I see uh, uh, something that reminds me of something else, I have a prejudice because I'm expecting it's going to be the same as that is. You know, people are prejudiced, prejudices against that, that rig. Oh, I don't want to jump that student rig, right? Remember when you're a student? You don't want to jump that one because it's unlucky or something. I don't like jumping on a Tuesday or I don't like jumping with red socks or whatever. So uh, I think that to, to add a, a level of sanity through processing of, of you know, where did the, what belief uh, about myself in the world is causing this? Uh, that's you know, kind of an existential way to look at it, but it's also very pragmatic because that helps you with your risk management analysis you know is this stupid or is this just novel 